We are at Hailing Island at CBK Beach and we are here to set a new world record for the largest parade of kite surfers ever and we're here to raise money for three fantastic charities, Virgin Unite, Snow Camp and the RNLI. One of the delightful things about this is that there's 250 to 350 people going to be participating and it's magnificent. A world record can be made by so many people. Look, I think the most important thing that any of us can do is, is stay healthy and stay active. If you can do it in a fun way like kite surfing, so much the better. Uh, the conditions today are, are perfect really. There's been glorious sunshine and the wind is starting to build so I think you need a bit more strength in the wind and it'll be a great day. It'll be a tricky uh, thing to try and get 300 kite surfers off a beach safely and down a mile but that's what we've got to do. Uh, the rule that we have is that we must have at least one kite surfer on that mile course at any one time to keep the record alive. So if we lose a group out of the back before the first group have come in, then we blow them. start the race off. The weather is perfect. We've got a bit of wind now is getting up. It's all very exciting. Sir Richard Branson is really, really crucial for kite surfing right now because the sport itself is really growing and he's really helping that, that push. And in the long term, for sure, it'll get back into the Olympic Games. We're really positive about that. There's something, something absolutely magical about kite surfing. You're just out there on, on the waves, being blown by the wind, you know, without any uh, Blackberries or iPhones or whatever. It's magnificent. Being out on the water, you can forget about life and, you know, you can just enjoy yourself. Well, I've never encountered anything that makes you feel quite the way this sport does. Um, we've got a great community of people here, um, loads of kites, and that's what does it for me. It's the people and the adrenaline rush. This has been a small idea that we had at Snow Camp to raise a bit of money earlier on at my local kite beach and it's grown into this enormous event. With and now, you know, to have Virgin behind it is just the icing on the cake. So We're raising money for Snow Camp and uh, the RNLI, who've been very important in uh, rescuing us on previous sort of world record breaking attempts, uh, and Virgin Unite, which is uh, obviously a charity dear to my own heart. I think we're gonna make the record, but it's so far so good. Today, the, uh, the minimum you had to achieve to set the Guinness World Records title was 250. I'm pleased to say that after about two and a half hours of kite surfing, we managed to get 318, so more than enough to smash the, uh, the minimum. Yeah, it's quite wonderful to have broken the world record and to have shared it with 300 other wonderful kiters, so it's been a great day. Uh, it feels absolutely amazing, and it was fantastic out there on the beach to have all the kiters there. Everybody was so supportive and waiting and patient, but we got there. Right, well, amazing. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for all the support. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And uh, it was wonderful.